Hello there commanders and welcome to Total War Arena Sun Tzu Show Match. Yes, we are about to be ready. Uh, one of our players is still fixing his commander and he'll join us soon and then we'll start our drafting phase. And I guess let me play some music. Just need to find where the hell I put my stream playlist. It's here. I hope you enjoy some old, good old Rome of the War soundtrack. I know it'll be all kinds of the War soundtracks. I'm not playing, I'm just casting, so I just took Barbarian Cavalry because whatever. You can change to tier 1, I guess. Doesn't matter. Hello there. Hi. Hello there, Commander. What's up, Mom? General Kenobi. Well, we have one spot, so first come, first served. Civoir. Civoir vs. Astolfo. Or Astolfo, yeah. Civoir vs. Astolfo. Uh, Reaper, can you please change back to tier 6? I am. Tier 6. And then Yo, switch commanders back and forth, because for me, you are tier 1. Me, I don't have my 6 Take maxed out yet, so. If there's no, a it doesn't matter if you have it maxed out or not, as long as it is tier 6. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Unless they're the slingers and they have to be tier down. 5. I guess, yeah, it's maximum tier 6, so we can technically play with tier 5 if you want. Can you play with tier why one? is the Passage of Augustus? It was supposed to be Captain Line Hill. There we go. What the fuck? Calm your tip. It'll be alright. Well, first come, first serve. It's not clicky clatting, George. Calm down. Calm down. Aggressive typing. Oh, the mad lad. Why is it so hard? Just try. <laughs> Are we keeping. I can't remember what you said. Are we keeping the draft? Yeah, but everyone's picks locked in. Yes, everyone has to come in with the, into the lobby with what he wants to play. Still waiting for one player, Sivor Astolfo. Whoever joins uh, first gets to play. The, the teams don't change, right? Like we don't. They do. I remember there was. They do. Yes, we yes. do a okay. draft every single time. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to go through this shit every single time. Yes. Come on, but Astolfo. This shit, shit. That's going like, to take a long time. We will get in the green. It is not going to take a long time if you all get your shit together. And That's yes. We have our shit together. Apparently not Astolfo nor like Sivoir have their shit together. Well, not everyone. I mean, we can start, start the started. picking phase the without them. This is like 2 a.m., my guy. Can cool. One of can you join the lobby at 2 a.m.? Are either of you even online? Astolfo, you're online. Get in the lobby. Yeah, I literally just opened my game, right. my guy. Sivar can first. Sivar on the tier fours. Sivar, uh, change to tier six, please. Ooh. Who? Who joins first? Sivar, please change to tier six. I don't see any tier fours, by the way. So, are you guys drunk or I'm drunk? No, it's, it's just yeah. a bug. Very drunk. Well, there is playback. <laughs> Okay, Sivar, if you're not changing to tier six, I'll uh, still follow it. I'm tier six, oh my god. But you're not! It's true, it's then called change, a lobby bug. Then change back and forth. Jeez. Please. We are 13 minutes behind the schedule already. No, I'm starting to see why we're starting as soon as the server is open. <laughs> Actually, you, we should have... So, Astolfo, uh, oh since you were a little bit like late... Yes, yeah, since you were a little bit late, I have to excuse you and kick you out. Because we don't have uh, another player for 9v9. 
George, start yeah, the but pick. Can I be an observer? Okay, I'm going. I to... guess you can be an observer since you're streaming. Picking. Join and just join with tier one. I'm gonna pick Mark. Mark. Okay. Mark, ready up. He's on the wrong team though. Yeah, yeah I dragged him. It yeah. takes a while. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Mark, ready Keep up. Keep pardon him. Yep. I'm ready. Keep pardon him. Pardon him's on the right team. Give you part of them ready up. George? Uh, gonna pick Steve War. Also, Captain Spice ready up as well. Uh, Steve War ready up. And? Cher, with uh, Germanicus, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, you, Steve War ready up. Yes. George, pick a second one. I'll pick a second one? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna pick Shlomi. Shlomi ready up. Hazu, pick two. Uh, Vatras and Corwin. Okay, Corwin, ready up. George, pick two. Rainfire and French. Rainfire. I don't see Rainfire. Were you not? Wait a minute. Where is Rainfire? I don't know. Rainfire, where did you disappear? Do it. I think leave and rejoin. He's Kiwi on the lower left. There's two Kiwis now. Wait, two Kiwis? Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. There's Shit. two. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm multi boxing. You didn't know? I'm playing two. Fuck. There's two wire stickles now. Oh, there's two. Two uh, Two. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Ready fire. I, I will kick you. Please rejoin. Rejoin to the lobby and hopefully it will fix it. Like, Ray Fire is like the illusion. Like the the like just imitates people. Okay, there we go. Okay, ready fire ready up. And uh, now Hazu picks two, right? Yeah. Okay, Hazu. Uh, new birds and okay, now ready up. Who's the second one? Pope. All right. Okay, hey George, you pick two. No bird, Bob, ready up. Uh, I'll pick Reaper. And who else is left? That's fine, he's in mission. Okay, uh, I'll pick. Uh, Let Vanus, please. That's fine, he's ready up. Misha, you can ready up as well. Um, Astolfo, are you joining as an observer? Yeah, if you invite me. I can invite you. You have a code there anyway. I have invited you. Okay, ready up, Astolfo. Uh, teams, please go to your respective teams. Uh, whoever is in George's team is in Sunsu Weeps. Whoever is in Hazu's team is in Sunsu Mimbers. Gosh, how do I remember? Well, you look at which side you're in and you join the proper channel. Hello there, Astolfo. Okay, let's go to the commentator room. I mean, I'll go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll <clears throat> No, 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 I I'm, was supposed to cast it solo and uh, I'll keep it at that. But you can cast it on your own as well, to solo commentaries. Okay, teams are picked and locked in. Without further ado, let's press the play button. Let's go. Takes a while. That is our first match of Sun Tzu Show match in the new game mode 8v8. One team is led by George, that is Sun Tzu Weebs, and Sun Tzu Mimbers are being led by Hazu. This is taking too long. There we go. Maybe I had to press it twice. Maybe just a coincidence. Anyway, we're loading into the first battle. Uh, I am observing the battle from the point of Sun Tzu Weeps. Astolfo is streaming as well, and he is streaming from the point of view of Sun Tzu members. Let's see how they're deploying and how, you know, 8v8, first of all, two members less to fill in the map to fight for the points. 
So we actually have some more room of maneuver of where you want to make your strong side, which side you want to make your weak side. Fight for control of the battlefield. Okay, let me hide somewhere here. Yep. Um, and yeah, let's see how the teams adapt to the very new game mode. This is our first look onto how a competitive game mode or how a competitive game can look in this new game mode. So we have some sweep scouting with cavalry on the A uh, AD side. Same goes for the Sun Tzu Meme Burst team. Rainfire and Mark with he with their Folksmen. Six units of Folksmen pushing into E. Paradam coming in. He is going for a charge. That is first blood for Sun Tzu Meme Burst. Although Paradam's cavalry, well, he is just serving as an anchor. Maybe he will try to go for a Siki Bika, but it's not going to happen, I imagine. Rainfire versus Vatrus and Pardonam in the forest. Meanwhile, we have some dogs being sent against Sivor and George. Let's see how they deal with that. Also, they are being under fire. But these dogs are getting a little bit wrecked. That is uh, Germanicus infantry, not in vengeance yet. Probably don't want to waste vengeance on dogs. Pardonam's cavalry is still pretty healthy. Those are Gringy charges, so they're not very good at melee. So they are going to be cut down, especially now it is entirely entangled in Mark's unit as yeah, so coming around with spikes. And Sun Tzu Weeps is not looking great on this side of the map. So I imagine some members will soon cap. Sun Tzu Weeps have also a huge camp at sea, ready to take it, but it's still locked for 1 minute 20. And the engagement on the left side on the AD line is still pretty close. But Sun Tzu Weeps have managed to push quite far into the main territory and already threatening D. George pushing through the dogs but not finding a very successful charges. Pope is delivering some really nice damage with his archers onto George's cavalry and is safe for the moment. Mubert is ensuring that no George's cavalry slips through and threatens his friend's archers. Sun Tzu members have won the engagement on the right flank and since Weeps are in the retreat, Mark with one unit alive here, two more here, Rainfire is entirely dead, which means he'll probably soon be respawning. The question is, can he respawn before Sun Tzu members take over B? They're not doing it yet, so I imagine he'll be able to respawn quickly enough. Let's see how it's going to see. 20 seconds until it's unlocked. Six ranged units with only one pikes to cover them. Let's see if Hazu gets a charge. He runs into Caltrops. Shlomi, uh, French boy retreating. Not dealing damage, but Shlomi's damage is actually really, really decent under those Greek cavalry. So Hazu is going to retreat. I don't know if he wasted his charge or not. Didn't see him use the charge, but maybe I just missed it. B is getting flipped, no response here, no heals, so Mark is retreating to the base and B is locked for Sun Tzu members. Rainfire will fight for it, but it is locked so we cannot stop the point gain for Sun Tzu members. So advantage Sun Tzu members, but Weeps strike back with getting C. In the meantime members look like they're also winning at D. They've been pushed back, but have managed to annihilate most of the enemy forces. Pope is successfully kind against Sivoar and his sister though cannot save him from Pope splitting up and firing at him from multiple angles. Or shooting rather. So we already see some weeps respawning back at A. George is coming in. They have the advantage that the Sun Tzu members are quite far away from the A point. That again they have already gained a lot of XP from killing them. Sun Tzu Latvanis has been caught out uh, in the middle at C. As uh, Sun Tzu Weeps try to transition their forces over from C to the D point. And D point is still quite a strong point for Sun Tzu members. Although Rainfire is holding them back there, he caught Javelins. If he uses his hamstring as Mark is coming in, the Mishet he can be in very much trouble. And B is unlocked in 10 seconds. So Weeps should be able to get that point back. Let's see, George has recalled all the way back to their base, going against Pardonum. That Vanis is being chased. Let's see if they coordinate their attacks. George has failed his charge. Another charge into Vatras. He gets it, stops Pardonum as well. Really, really nice charge. He comes in with flying column out here. Really nice. 
Cardinal is in very much trouble here. Latvan is retreating to get his units back. C is getting flipped by Sun Tzu members though, so they need to respond to send Sivar to C to stop the capture. But it's going quite fast and I don't think Sivar will make it in time. In the meantime, Sun Tzu weaves are getting back point B with Mark and Rainfire, but Vatras is looking to stop it. Mark needs to charge out to prevent Vatras from stopping the capture, but Vatras is also not yellowing in yet, but he sees that he has a place to do it. But if he doesn't get in, they lose the healing spot. Well, I think that is a mistake on Sunsu Vatras's point, but then again, it is valid to just um, not feed the XP. Depends on what they value more. He's retreating. Weeps are getting B back, but in the meantime, as I said before, members have taken C, so they still have an advantage. They keep a healthy one point, one capture point advantage, and they're also pressing heavily now onto A. They healed up and they're pushing with full force onto A, and there's only George in here that can stop them. He's charging into Kiwi. Kiwi didn't deploy Caltrops, or maybe he did. Looks like he did. Well, I don't have highlights, so. I would really need to see them, but it didn't look like it did, or they just didn't work. Okay, uh, weeps are heavily on top of C, but it's still 35 seconds that, well, it will be kind of times wasted of them sitting on there, but they'll get it back as soon as it comes unlocked. Uh, Sun Tzu members are rushing through to A, Orin completely ignoring these two cover units, he knows his allies will take care of it, and he's trying to flip A as quickly as possible. It is all about those points. They're sending another cavalry, maybe trying to get there in time, but I don't think he will. Not only get in there in time, but he can just be blocked quite easily. C is unlocked in two seconds, so Sun Tzu Weeps will take it very quickly. And we see Sun Tzu uh, Weeps also pushing E quite heavily after winning the engagement. But there are still a few members of Sun Tzu members and accounting for, so they may be respawning at E or healing back here. We see Hazu Cavalry ready to respond to any threat. Mark is rushing into E. Uh, Shlomi pushing forward as well, together with Mark towards E, but yeah, they, they have infantry here. Pikes and Barbarian infantry and Javans, there we go. Now the roles have reversed and let's see how Weebs will manage attacking the E point. Shlomi retreating, seeing Hazus cavalry threats. Mark needs to react to protect him. Brainfire is sinking in, but Mark is left alone. Oh, Hazu fell for it. Didn't see those foxmen in there. And let's see how well he can do there. But Mark is cutting him down really, really quickly. In the meantime, the force that capped C from Sun Sweeps is rushing straight to the enemy base. They are behind points. So, well, putting six units inside the base might have been a good idea. But they decide against it and they try to go and flank E instead. But it will take them a while to get there and let's see how long Mark, Rainfire and Shlomi can hold them there back. In the meantime with capturing A, Sun Tzu members have a huge advantage on the AD line and they're, cap and they're using the healing point, although Sivoar is preventing them from healing there as long as he can but it is not going to last for long and then that huge force over here can heal up in a very convenient spot and push either right on, into the limb base or onto C point that is unlocking in a few seconds. Uh, Latvan is getting cut down here by Pardonum. Pardonum sends another cavalry. George is here to prevent Pardonum from getting any more so that he can't cap C but Pardonum also has a unit of Foxman here which is going to be a really good counter to enemy cavalry. In the meantime Sun Tzu Weep's team have managed to flank around E and Reaper and French Boy are here. French Boy looks like he's disconnected. Well, we are playing on Chinese servers, so shit like that happens. Or he is just asleep, but I really doubt that. But since the Weeps are looking strong on this flank, especially with the. Yep, since the French Boy got disconnected, nothing we can do about that, sadly. That is why this tournament isn't really serious, it's just purely for fun. And I hope. People are having shit on it, if possible. Oh, Reaper also disconnected. That is quite unfortunate for Team Weeps. On the upside, this unit is inside E, so it is capping it. French Boy looks like he's getting reconnected, but Vatras is getting a charge in on him. Quite an honorable move. 
but what can he do? And French boy has been flipped to AI, disconnected for too long. Well, we'll see how AI does in this new scenario. That is quite unfortunate, though. And maybe we'll get some reinforcements for the future battles to replace people having trouble uh, with connection like French boy or Reaper. But Reaper, he's back. Looks like he's fine. Well, in the meantime, Pardonum and uh, now joined by Nubert and Corin have secured point C. So the force that they have decided to not go for the base, but instead go towards C. And well, they have secured it with a huge advantage over here. Translate that advantage. Um, George might try to sneak A cap with his cavalry. Latvani has some cavalry as well, but Nubert is after Latvani's slight artillery. The artillery, I don't think, has done anything really in this match. Sivar here threatening Kiwi, but it's kind of being asleep. And since George and Sivar are fighting on top of C, but the point gain is not getting stopped. George with a really nice calf charge into Kiwi, definitely no captures there. Sivar coming in. And see in 30 seconds maybe flip for the Sun Tzu Weeps uh, team, but well, in 30 seconds some reinforcements may arrive. They have managed to secure E, but there's still one capture point behind. But the battle is still very close in terms of both XP and points as well. Although a healthy 800 point advantage and one additional point per second for team Sun Tzu members. So unless Sun Tzu Weeps can find some sneaky captures on a huge turning point, is not looking good for them at the moment. Then again, if they manage to get some kind of XP advantage, maybe they can start turning it back, turning it around. Kiwi has been almost cut down, Mark is coming in up for C, the point is unblocked, so if it is contested it is not going to provide points, so they're stopping, since weeps are stopping the point bleed a little bit. Oh, George is now running to Pikes, they didn't manage to get there in time and Hazu is mowing down his cavalry very nicely. Another Hazu pike unit coming in to secure C, threatening the enemy team and just pushing them away. But now he left it, so uh, team Sun Tzu Weeps is going to start contesting it. Now he gets there in time as part of the leaves. Very nice coordination there, but he has been caught off guard without a phalanx and that is against Foxman. If they cleave him, they uh, harmstring him, he's going to be slowed down significantly, but that does not happen. Maybe it wasn't cooldown, but it still suffers quite a lot of damage delivered by Shlomi's arches. He is being contested, but Rainfire is going in there to try to stop it. And again, it will is probably a 2v1 scenario. Yes, Pardon of Cavalry. Well, Pardon of Cavalry in the forest can't really do much against Rainfire, but there is a small patch of land, just not forest there. So that gives Cavalry some room of one maneuver. And Rainfire doesn't enter E in time to stop the capture point. Nubert is here as well with his reinforcements and suddenly French boy's AI is not doing really well and he is getting caught out. Rainfire didn't take that into account and didn't protect his AI ally that is now getting punished for it. See, so he's still being very much contested. Pikes versus Pikes. Oh, those Pikes are also disconnected. Um, <clears throat> disconnected Reaper Pikes, but they still managed to Route has spikes and now Team Weeps is looking to get point C under the control. They're capping pretty fast, but Nubert is here to stop that. He gets just in. No, he... Oh, there we go. He turned just in time to get in. Corin now sends his dogs. Hazu is coming in with his spikes and cavalry. Michel is also providing his gentlemen and Team Sun Tzu members is looking to regain control of C back. Oh, they left for a brief second, but that's still not enough for Weeps to capture it. They would benefit hugely if they could get it, but members are not willing to give them that. Rainfire is now contesting the E point against Vatros and Pardonum. And cutting down Vatros' infantry that managed to ca catch out French boy's former uh, <clears throat> javelinman. Atfanis is now going with his one cavalry unit towards A, decides against it. I don't know if the point is defended or not, but a huge part of the Sinsu members team is at sea and yeah waves are going to be wiped out uh, pretty soon he has been locked for team since members as well rainfire afk or maybe disconnected 
uh, up there, so he can still go and try to contest it somewhere, or maybe recall and help elsewhere. That's not a Carthaginian. Oh, George got disconnected as well. And if it has been called out, is that because people left? I don't really know what happened exactly. But well, that is a victory to some members. Definitely, they would have won the battle. Unless some really weird uh, stuff would have happened, but yeah. A lot of disconnects, disconnects is quite unfortunate. So, point for some members. Let me adjust the scoreboard. There we go, and let's host on the lobby and talk to the guys what have happened.